The HM Defense Raider 5, let's check it out. There are a lot of different companies producing the AR-15, and it is one of the most popular selling firearms in the country. Uh, part of that has to do, of course, with this military heritage being serving with the U.S. military forces for over 40 years. But one of the things that's happened over the past few years is that there's not really been a lot of innovation. And so today we're going to take a look at the HM Defense, and this is the Raider M5. It's a, in a pistol form, but they also make rifles as well and a lot of other parts. Uh, there are some innovations to this firearm that surpass anything I've ever seen with the AR-15. Uh, these are solid innovations and not just gimmicks. Uh, it has a lot to do with the gas block and the bolt. So we're going to take an in-depth look at HM Defense and some of the things they're doing. And guys, I'll tell you what, I, I think this is something that I've never seen before in the industry. And I think it's definitely worth taking a look at. First thing we're going to do is to make sure though the gun isn't loaded. I'm going to bring the bolt back. There's no magazine and it is empty. Now, with the Raider M5, it is a pistol. Um, I noticed a lot of comments on Instagram and Facebook that were saying, you know, why in the world would you want to barrel this long for a small little pistol? Uh, but there's a lot of good reasons, and we're going to look at it when we show the barrel specifically, because there are some features to this barrel that are totally unique in the industry. Also, the bolt is better than anything I've seen. Okay, now here we have the monoblock barrel by HM Defense, and then here we have actually a Criterion barrel, which these are excellent barrels. With your traditional gas block, it fits onto the barrel. Uh, the metals are different, they're heat treated differently, uh, and then sometimes with the attachment points, and you can see right here, we have two little set screws that go into the bottom. Now they typically hold up well. Once in a while, if they're not attached right, or they can come loose, they can cause problems. With the HM monoblock design, uh, you see that this is one piece that's actually milled into the barrel. This has not been attached. It's not been welded on here. This is part of the, the original stock. And so when they machine these barrels, they machine the gas block to be right in with the barrel. So it's the same heat treating process. It's not an attachment. It doesn't have different metals. Uh, there's no other different properties. It's all the same piece. With that, it's going to improve the harmonics of the barrel, which leads to better accuracy. And as you can see, there's not a lot of difference between the gas block and the end of the barrel. And that allows for a mid-length gas system. And that's one reason why this barrel is 12 and a half inches, uh, even though it is a pistol. Here marked on the barrel is 5.56 and the barrel is a 1 and 8 twist. Now again, the barrel is 12 and a half inches in length, again, which allows for your mid-length gas system. Uh, it is 4150 chrome moly vanadium. Uh, the finish on this barrel is just excellent. I mean, it has a very smooth nitride finish on it from what I can tell. Uh, but it's not the rough uh, anodized parkerized type finish that's on your standard barrels. Uh, they are match grade and they are button rifled, which also helps with accuracy. Of course, it does have the half by 28 threads for your muzzle device. But one thing I really like about HM Defense is they offer a, a rifle barrel with the compensator already attached, and it is also milled into the barrel. Uh, the barrel is one piece, the gas block is milled in, and the comp, which is definitely going to lead to better accuracy and better barrel harmonics. And those are things that are not seen so far in this industry. Uh, but really, they just make sense. And I know the processes are a little bit more to make this a monoblock, to build it in, and also for the compensator. Uh, but this is definitely going to make your rifle perform better. Now, HM Defense produces their own muzzle brakes uh, with the Chevron system on the top. And then also here at the 4 o'clock and the 6 o'clock position. Now, your bolt receives most of the abuse when firing the rifle. 
Uh, it is, again, the heart of your rifle along with your barrel. Uh, and because of the cartridge sitting right here at the face of the bolt in these lugs, uh, when the round is ignited, I mean, there's a lot of violent force that causes these bolts then to shove backward and to slam forward and it turns in the chamber. I mean, there's a lot of things that the bolt is subject to. So what we have here are two bolts. This is your standard AR-15 M16 bolt. And you can see that there's a hole through here with the can where the cam pin fits. This is a weak area. You can see that there's very thin walls on either side. Now the reason for this is because your cam pin goes through and then your firing pin goes through your cam pin right through that hole. And so this accommodates your cam pin and this is the traditional way that it's been uh, from the beginning. And now here are some pictures of bolts that have broken and you can see that right here they start to break or at least crack. So this is the weak link in your bolt. Now here we have the HM Defense Battle Ready Bolt. Uh, this is 100% compatible with your M16 AR-15. But one, you'll notice that there is not a hole all the way through the bolt. And this is going to give this considerably more strength right here on the sides. And then is your cam pin, which this has been shortened to accommodate right through here. Uh, and then of course your firing pin goes in through that little hole. Uh, this is definitely strengthened over your standard bolt. Um, and again, that's where most of your problems happen. With the cam pin riding into your standard bolt carrier, it goes through, uh, there's going to be more movement. But with this, it kind of locks into place and there's less friction on your firing pin. These are made from 9310 steel. Uh, the cam pin is 4340 steel. And they have a black nitride finish on the bolt. This to me, guys, is something that is so simple to improve, yet you're not seeing it. And I think HM Defense has really addressed a critical issue with the reliability of your AR-15 M16 rifle. Now, some may say that's an overkill, that they don't really have that many problems with their bolt. But I was talking to Robbie Wheaton about it, and he deals with problems with the AR-15 on a daily basis. This is a standard M16 bolt. And as you can see, there's a hole that goes all the way through. Your cam pin here goes all the way through this hole. On the new HM Defense bolt, they didn't mill the hole all the way through. They left, they left it solid on the bottom, and it's got a, a really nice radius in the bottom to prevent fracture points. And then on their cam pin, you can see as well, it's got a radius on the bottom of the pin here that fits into that groove in the bolt. And all of that is to reduce failures on, uh, on bolts. Some of the big benefits of having an integral gas block machined under the barrel are you don't have to worry about set screws coming loose. You don't have to worry about dimpling the bottom of your barrel. You don't have to worry about driving pins in that can walk out or break or cause accuracy issues because you're in creating stress risers on your barrel. So this is a really innovative forward thinking move by these guys by, by integrating the gas block onto the barrel. Little aggravating point with me, we were out shooting and their their gas port is a little bit oversized. So yeah, I'm sure it was done to make sure the guns are reliable and everything. But uh, it, you could reduce the gas port size just a little bit and help mitigate recoil some. Now we have HMB on the bolt. We have monoblock on the dust cover, which lets you know that the barrel does have the monoblock system. The upper and lower receivers are 70, 75 T6 aluminum, which is up to mil spec. Guys, that's one thing to note because there are some lesser quality 60, 61 T6 aluminum receivers. But it's got engraved into the receiver HM, laser engraved in the upper, Raider M5, and then we have HM Defense, Mount Oreb, Ohio. And guys, all their parts are made in the USA. Most of their parts are made right there at the HM Defense facility. Uh, one thing that they did note was that the lower parts kit, they are not produced by them but they are all made in the U.S. On the rifle, they also have one of the polymer uh, extended trigger guards. This is not necessarily Magpul, but definitely extends that much nicer than the straight flat. The HM QD end plate is also included, and you have a QD point right here. Uh, this is a very nice addition and an upgrade over your standard end plate. Now on the Raider M5, it has the SIG uh, SBX pistol brace which is the upgraded version from the original and the buffer tube has a step in it so it gives you a little more traction uh, for the uh, SIG arm brace. The handguards are produced by HM Defense. They are M-Lock. Uh, it's a very secure system around the barrel nut. You have these bolts here and at 6 o'clock and also right about 10 o'clock. Now we're going to take a look at the inside and you'll notice that the takedown pin and pivot pin have a little dimple which is a little bit different 
we have our standard mil spec trigger and hammer uh, and then of course you can just see uh, this is standard stuff for the AR and the Raider M5 without the optic and magazine is six pounds 5.4 ounces I want to thank Freedom Munitions for sponsoring the ammo uh, you get a 5% suits discount uh, when you go to freedommunitions.com now at the range, with a mid-length gas system alone, it makes it a much softer shooting rifle or pistol in this configuration. Uh, with this size barrel, typically you've got carbine length uh, at best, maybe even pistol length. And so this really allows for those gases not to be so harsh uh, to the firearm. And so it makes it very soft shooting. And then with their muzzle brake, uh, it does a great job at taming recoil. But because that gas block is built in, you're definitely going to get better accuracy. Uh, I didn't test the accuracy because we were just doing a lot of shooting really for more reliability. Uh, but in an upcoming video, we're going to be taking a look at that. Of course, we were using the Trigicon MRO and it just always functions well. Now, one thing I want to note for my YouTube viewers is that we put the Fostec trigger in this system and ran it. And I'll tell you what, it ran like a top. Um, and of course the, with the uh, the system with the echo 2 you pull the trigger it fires you release it it fires and You can really increase your rate of fire quite a bit. Of course, that's not politically correct right now So I didn't want to put it on YouTube, but if you want to see that version of this video go to full30.com I always upload videos first on full 30 and it's a great source very firearm friendly now, Curtis from the VSO Gun Channel and I have been shooting the uh, HM Defense and there were some things, I really wanted to bring you in on this because there's some things that he really pointed out uh, that we wanted to look at. Yeah, so I shoot a lot of ARs, right, and I'm actually, I would consider myself an AR guy, uh, to be specific. Uh, I like to build ARs, I like to shoot ARs, and I've become very particular about a certain um, couple facets on AR builds that uh, I see done wrong by a lot of manufacturers from time to time and uh, I think that several of them have been addressed on this gun that are just they just make the gun bomber. I was really impressed with them and the and the reason why is I think they've really addressed two parts of the AR that are the weak links in the in the parts and the first we'll start off with the bolt here so if we look at this and take this apart what they've done is they've made it so that they've basically eliminated the weak link of the bolt itself. For comparison, uh, you can see that's only got one hole, it doesn't go all the way through, but if we take a standard bolt here and roll it in, we can see clear through that. The sidewalls are really weak here, and this is a part where there's a lot of pressure put on the bolt when it slams home, or during the firing cycle when it's pressurized. They basically made it so this is one solid unit now, but still has the mobility of the cam pin. So that's really beefing up the AR system. And this will fit any of your mil spec bolt carrier groups. Part that I have the hardest part with is the gas system of any AR. In fact, usually when I buy a barrel, I will buy the barrel with the standard AR-15 front post on it so that I can mill it down to have the two pins that you push through, the taper pins, so that you have a bomb-proof gas block on your system. Well, what we have here is they have combined the gas block with the barrel. It is integral to the barrel, so that gas block is not coming off, not moving around, and there's gonna be no gas leakage or, there's no way it can go wrong. The only way that you can screw this up is if you blow up your gas tube, pretty much. Right. Yeah, it's uh, solid. It is, it is literally bomb proof. Now they do have a standard mil spec uh, pistol grip and charging handle, uh, and then of course the lower parts kit is definitely just standard, uh, even mil spec trigger. Uh, but the fit and finish of the rifle overall, how it was put together and everything, is just it's excellent. Uh, this retails for nine ninety nine on the HM Defense website, and of course if you get it out to dealers, you know that price is usually lower. Uh, and so for this system, and I think their standard pistol, which has not, it doesn't have the monoblock, but it does have the battle ready bolt. I think it runs eight ninety five. Great prices on their on this system, but I think for the money, I, I don't really know that you're going to be able to beat it with this innovation. Now I want to thank HM Defense for sending the Raider M5 for me to do this test and evaluation, um, and also for sending the extra barrel so I could show the monoblock system and an extra bolt. Uh, that we could show the battle ready bolt. 
The ATM Defense Monoblock Barrel and the Battle Ready Bolt are available separately from HM Defense. That way you can add it to your existing rifle if you really like these features. Now as far as pros and cons of the Raider 5, I'll have to say that they're almost all pros. Um, you know, with this monoblock gas system, uh, this is incredible. Uh, and then of course mid-length, it just makes this rifle very easy to shoot. But even more importantly, the uh, built-in gas block, which will definitely help with the barrel harmonics, uh, and two, it's not two different metals heating up at the different times. Uh, you've got that gas block that's staying at the same constant temperature of the barrel. Uh, that together with the, just the durability of that gas block. Uh, if you shoot AR-15s long enough, you're going to have gas blocks that tend to want to walk. <laughs> and when you do, you're going to have problems. Uh, with the bolt system, uh, man, it is unparalleled. And I mean, it makes so much sense. It's so easy to do and it stays still in line with your m16 mil spec so you're able just to drop that in your regular bolt carrier with no problems the muzzle brake was very effective and to the handguard i like that uh, as far as cons go uh, one thing that robbie wheaton pointed out was that if this is over gassed uh, you can't ex you can't reduce that hole at all i mean it's pretty much locked into place uh, and that's one advantage of having a gas block that is adjustable the problem though with adjustable gas blocks is they can cause problems. So it's kind of a twofold effect. But really other than that, I don't see any more negatives uh, with this rifle system. And as I always try to say, guys, check out other reviews. Look what other people are saying. There may be something that I missed they point out. There may be something that I'm pointing out that they missed. So it's really good to be able to get a different perspectives before making a purchase. Because guys, again, this helps keep the YouTube gun community honest. And when people are buying firearms for possible self-defense scenarios, uh, that is very important to me that you make a good choice. And upcoming, we're going to be doing some accuracy tests with the Raider M5. I'm going to put a magnified optic on here, and we're going to just do some testing to see uh, what this system is capable of. Now, I want to thank Curtis at the VSO Gun Channel for his input about the system. Also, Robbie Wheaton from Wheaton Arms. Uh, check them out. I'll have links down below in the description. Uh, but if you're looking for really excellent gun work, uh, Robbie Wheaton at Wheaton Arms is the way to go. And the guy really knows what he's doing. So you can go to hmdefense.com. I'll have the link down below in the description. And check out what these guys are putting together. So two very important elements with your rifle that HM Defense covers, uh, I think it's really something to look at. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. So that's the reason why this barrel is 12 and a half. Now the H, now HM Defense right, now HM Defense. Okay. Now the barrel on the firing pin fits through that hole. So as the, so your firing pin rests right through the. Now here we have the HM Defense, and this is their baddie, baddie. This is a baddie bolt. <laughs> Live it, <laughs> like Turtle Man. In the place where I pointed out earlier. What was that? That was a real gun. Yeah.